Shove it, man! Shove it, squad. I recently sat down and interviewed an eight-year-old obese Indian boy, also known as Barood from Rinka King. This was undoubtedly the highlight of my YouTube career. If you haven't seen it yet, the link's in the description. But I came out of that video feeling... <sighs> we're a bit down, actually. I felt sorry for him. Wrestling is obviously this boy's dream, and he revealed that he was recently turned down by the WWE for being too small. He's stuck over in India now and he can't afford to get a spotlight in the US or the UK. What I've decided to do is create a GoFundMe for Baroud. We want to raise 5000 for his tour. I don't know if any of you care about this or not, but I'm just putting it out there. I don't usually do this sort of thing because the hawk is a selfish dick. Not with the ladies though, I'm not going to lie, I sure make the feathers fly. Also, last chance to meet the hawk at New Milton this Friday. YouTube viewers will never have to view brother piece of stupid gourmet face on this channel again after this video. I'm bringing my brick and I'm going to end it quick. Link for the tickets is also in the description box below. There's <sighs> not going to be much left in that box at this rate. I recently held a YouTube vote to see who should compete on Ring of the Hawk next, and I believed I formed a pretty solid selection for the YouTube audience. These were all guys who people regularly requested to do the J.O.B., and the end result surprised me. I really had no idea about the popularity of today's guys. I'm not sure what it is that people love so much about them. I mean, when I was a kid, I loved their entrance music in the WWF. I played that back until my Walkman broke and I had to give it a smack. So the Juggalos won the vote, just about beating Terry Funk in ECW. That would have most likely been an A, but instead, we've got something completely different and unexpected. I'll probably make that video still anyway, let me know down below if you want to see that. And also while you're at it, let me know below in the comment section if you're a juggalo and what attracts you to this lifestyle. Honestly, I've never met one, but from the look of the polls, there's a lot of you out there. And of course... If you know a wrestler who can do the J-O-B to the H-A-W-K any night, any day, <coughs> shove their name in the comment section, Jack! Okay, okay, Shaggy 2 Dope and Violent J. Claim in Detroit, but they live 20 miles away. But will they be our first day? Match 1, Nitro, 6-man tag. Norman Smiley, Prince Iacare and Lash LaRue. My spell checker doesn't know what to do. Versus Shaggy 2 Dope, Violent J and Vampiro with Raven. The collective known as the Deadpool. 10 out of 10 for atmosphere in this entrance so far. It feels sweet. Vampiro starts out the match with Lash LaRue, so nobody cares about that. We're here for ICP. The match starts terribly, it's so botchy, no one knows who's legal and people are just randomly falling over. I'm pleased to tell you ICP had nothing to do with these botches. Vampiro hits a powerbomb and brings in Violent J and he hits a vertical suplex on Prince Iakir. He follows that by picking him up for a spine buster as Vampiro comes off the top with a clothesline. Shaggy 2 Dope shows what he can do next and he completely spikes Prince Iakir. Then <laughs> he starts stamping on his bare feet. Well if you're going to go around wrestling in bare feet you're asking for it. Prince almost fights up, but Vampiro helps his team with a distraction. The crowd are going nuts for Vampiro here. Vampiro and Violent J hit a double clothesline and they take turns hitting leg drops. That's like a small Nissan Qashqai falling on you. Shaggy feels left out, so he also hits one with the ref distracted. Then, strangely, Violent J headbutts Prince, but he collapses from the impact and almost gets pinned. What? Is Prince known for how solid his head is or something? He looks pretty normal to me. He's got a pea head of anything. They send Prince out of the ring where Vampiro sends him into the steel steps. Back in the ring, Shaggy misses a top rope leg drop and Prince is able to make the tag to Smiley. Norman's tag is so hot it almost burns as he hits lovely wind-up slams to ICP. Lash LaRue turns Shaggy inside out of a clothesline. The match ends up out of control. Vampiro pins Lash LaRue down and Violent J nails the moonsault. That's it, over, it's a free. Wow, that was a highly enjoyable opener. It didn't seem like it was going to be as good as that at the start, but it certainly improved. The crowd ate it up and ICP got to hit a lot of good moves. I give it a B. Great start. It wasn't a technical masterpiece or anything, but it was entertaining and the energy levels were through the roof. Love this one. The commentary team definitely have no idea who these guys are though. Match 2. Road Wild 1999 opener. Wow, look at that stage setup. Six man tag. The Deadpool with Raven. I wonder what these guys will get as a reception surrounded by bikers. And they take on Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio and Billy Kidman. Okay, I'm intrigued. What are we going to get here? The filthy animals aren't hanging around and they clear the ring of ICP and focus in on Vampiro. They do keep him down for a bit until he fights back with a kick. He's hesitant to tag his partners in it seems. ICP eventually get involved and Violent J hits a scoop slam to Eddie on the outside of the ring. Violent J comes into the match running through Eddie. He also hits a jawbreaker before giving the tag to Shaggy who hits a big time suplex. 
ICP continue to cheat with the ref distracted. Eddie has been completely isolated at this point. He hits the head scissors but he can't make the tag as Violent J illegally comes in with a headbutt. Eddie is quieting down now as ICP hit him with a double team suplex. Shaggy wants to hit some sort of dive to put him away but Guerrero crashes into the ropes causing him to fall on his nutsack. Eddie scrambles up there to hit a top rope superplex to Shaggy. Eddie's partners literally haven't been in the match yet but now Rey Mysterio Jr is in. He hits a springboard press onto Violet J and an Asai moonsault. Vampiro has to make the save. Ray tries to give Raven a 619 on the outside and he doesn't like this so he drops Ray on his little head. Vampiro hits the nail in the coffin on the outside so Ray is now presumably dead. They put Ray back in the ring and Violet J gives him a side slam for a two count. Mysterio is really struggling and the motorbikers in the crowd are revving to encourage him. Violent J hits a shin breaker and tags Vampin. This match is surprisingly long as Shaggy comes back in with strikes to Ray Ray. Then he picks him up to hit a power slam. Eddie has to save Ray. Next up, Ray tries to mount a comeback, but Shaggy counters that of a clothesline. Seconds later, Ray does manage a counter and he hits a split legged moonsault to Shaggy and he tags Kidman in. He drop kicks both of ICP as it looks like they've lost control of the match. Ray gives a Bronco Buster to Violent J. Vampiro tries to calm the match down, but he kicks his own partner by mistake. Everyone starts flying to the outside, but Kidman flies to the inside with a shooting star on Violent J and he pins him for the free. There were a lot of big moves in this match, but ICP weren't really involved with them. I don't think the energy levels really translated well with this outdoor event. I'm going to give this one a middle of the road C. Match 3, Nitro. Shaggy 2 Dope and Violent J with mold coloured hair with Raven and Vampiro versus Rocco Rock and Johnny Grunge, the public enemy. Grunge looks a thousand years old here. ICP get the jump on the public enemy, but the dosey do spot doesn't help them. And then they both get atomic drops. The crowd are massively behind the insane clown posse here, but I don't think they're supposed to be. The Deadpool will have a meeting outside to try and help ICP. Back in the ring now, Shaggy gets slammed and drop kicked. Then he gets a headbutt to the nutsack, and that's a big head to take to the nutsack. The public enemy work together with double elbows. It's not looking good for Shaggy. They try to whip Shaggy across the ring. <laughs> He just randomly stops running and tags his partner in. No selling the Irish whip. Classic. Violent J comes in and he hammers Rocco Rock. He tries a splash in the corner but misses it. Grunge gets the tag and he hits a headbutt on the massive head of Violent J. Raven interferes and then the match spills to the outside and they use the steel steps as a weapon. Moments later there's a double down in the middle of the ring. Grunge and Rocco Rock hit a bad looking double flapjack on Violent J. They then stack Shaggy on the top rope where Rocco Rock hits a top rope Frankensteiner. It's really not looking good for ICP as Shaggy 2 Dope is placed on a double table. Rocco Rock climbs onto his partner's shoulders as he throws him overhead and Shaggy goes through the tables. Damn. Violent J is getting a lecture from the referee when there's a ref bump from a charging Johnny Grunge. Vampiro sees this as a chance to help his team and he comes in and nails the... nail in the coffin. ICP win as the ref comes to it. It wasn't amazing but props were going through that table to Shaggy. The crowd seemed to be behind ICP but I'm pretty sure they're heels. Maybe it's because they're against Public Enemy. 1999 WCW was not exactly the highlight of their career. It's a C. Match 4 ICP with Vampiro vs Rey Mysterio and Billy Kidman. Shaggy 2 Dope will start out against the half man half kid. Shaggy misses a clothesline and he gets a scoop slam, drop kicked and sent out of the ring. Kidman's not done and he follows him out of the ring and sends him into the crowd barrier. The half man half kid hits another scoop slam and Mysterio comes into the match with a springboard leg drop. We don't often get to see a suplex from Mysterio but we get one here. Then he misses a moonsault and gets taken out of a clothesline. Violent J tries to run but he gets tripped up and this time Mysterio hits a moonsault to his back. Violent J quickly turns it around and hits an almost brain buster. Shaggy is in now but he quickly loses his team's advantage. This match is breathless, Ray Ray gets the tag and hits a springboard drop kick. He also hits the Bronco Buster on Shaggy before Violent J stops him. J then picks him up and press slams him and drops him on Shaggy's knee. Nice. Violent J gets a two count now of a top rope leg drop. Mysterio suddenly goes flying to the outside but he doesn't connect well with Violent J. The ref is distracted and Vampiro shoves Kidman off the top rope. That doesn't seem to matter though as Shaggy and Vampiro crash together. Kidman rolls up Shaggy. who <laughs> He actually kicks out a two but the match is over anyway, never mind. ICP was screwed. I enjoyed this one, it wasn't boring for a second and it was better than their pay-per-view match which was a bit slow in my opinion. Another B. This run is surprising for me so far. Match 5, WCW Fall Brawl 1999, 6 man tag, Vampiro and ICP. You know, considering they're musicians you'd think they'd have an actual song rather than a generic beat. Or is it the network version I'm watching? I don't know. 
they take on Mysterio, Kidman and Guerrero again. Man, look how Vampiro towers over all three of his opponents. You never think of Vamp as a big guy. Vamp tries to wind up Mysterio and then the match takes forever to start. I think Vamp is upset about whatever the crowd are chanting. It's something I can't make out. The match finally begins with Shaggy and Kidman. Shaggy tries a bat body drop but instead he gets a boot and a drop kick. Kidman then misses a splash in the corner and Shaggy has a chance but Kidman gets out of the back suplex. Then they try to do a wheelbarrow spot but Shaggy can't get up and he slides along on his fat belly. He's determined though and he does manage it eventually and Mysterio hits him with a springboard leg drop. Guerrero also splashes down across him. It's not going well for Shaggy as Eddie hits a spinning heel kick and Mysterio hits a big splash. He's now presumably dead and Violent J is in pretending to be a sumo wrestler. He catapults Ray across the ring. Vampiro gets the tag but he struggles. It feels like he's giving ICP more and more time in the ring each match. Violent J has the tag and he gets beaten to the floor by Kidman. Violent J tries to hide behind the ref in fear. The distraction is enough and Violent J hits the DDT and tags Vamp in. Vampiro cleans house and he brings Shaggy back in and he hits a power slam for a two count. Violent J then comes in but he needn't have bothered as he gets clotheslined down. Ray gets the tag and he immediately hits a west coast pop on Violent J. He quickly follows it up with an acai moonsault but it's not over yet. The Deadpool send Mysterio out of the ring and then they send him into the crowd barrier. Mysterio now has a bad leg. Later on, Violent J gets the tag in and he hits a side slam on Guerrero, followed by a shaggy two dope leg drop. Kidman has to make the save for the pin. Next up, we get a new move from Shaggy and Vampiro as well as they hit a double, I don't know, a cutter into a slam. It didn't look great, to be honest. The filthy animals turn it around anyway and Kidman wins with a shooting star press on Vampiro. It was okay, but our guys didn't do much. They seemed hesitant in this match. I can't get past the image of Shaggy two dope desperately crawling on his belly like a depressed slug. It's a C. Match 6, Nitro. Shaggy 2 Dope and Violet J with Vampiro versus the West Hollywood Blondes, Lenny and Lodi. 90% of you watching right now, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But isn't that a throwback and a punch to the gut? Violet J starts with Lenny Lane. <laughs> a fan runs into the ring. I think it's staged actually, but who cares? Lenny takes Violet J down, but then he trips over his back. J hits a couple of hip tosses and then a body press slam. Lenny runs to his partner. The cameraman keeps focusing on Vampiro, who clearly says to the camera, don't you think you should be filming the ring? There's action going on, you know. <laughs> Maybe if late WCW had hired Vamp on their production team, they might still be around today. Shaggy is now in the ring hitting a suplex. He also hits an atomic drop on Lodi, who jumps into his partner's arm, so Shaggy drop kicks them together. The blondes start cheating, and Shaggy manages to hit a cutter across the ropes, but as he turns around, he goes into a Lodi suplex. The blondes are now in firm control and they hit a double suplex. There's a huge ICP chant going on in the crowd, but this doesn't seem to be helping Shaggy as he gets a high knee and a leg drop. Eventually, Jay dodges an attack and brings in his partner. He hits a splash in the corner. Because the blondes are supposed to be, you know, gay men, they have to do a second gay wrestling spot in this match. It should be over as the blondes hit a double DET on Shaggy, but he kicks out on his own. Then it all goes wrong. Lenny has Shaggy up for a suplex and Lodi tries to dive on him at the same time, but he misses. Shaggy immediately makes the cover and Lodi just stands around looking like a gormless moron watching the pin happen. Not much to like about this match. It's the oh, first S of the video, but it did take six matches, which is better than expected. After this, ICP disappeared from WCW for a year. No idea where they went. It's possible they started up their own wrestling company, Juggalo Championship Wrestling at this time. What's weird is when they returned, it looked like they brought their JCW title with them to WCW, and Vampiro defended the belt on WCW telly. Why would they let that happen? Match 7, Thunder, 8-man tag, Shaggy 2 Dope, Violent J, Vampiro, and the Great Muta. They're now going as the Dark Carnival. They take on Free Count and Tag and Cabot. Great Muta destroys Shane Helms. I, just, I can't stop watching him beat the hell out of him. ICP finally come into the match, they get double face plants. Then the referee gets sprayed with the green mist. We get a new move now as Violent J hits a press slam into a Samoan drop, and I was completely okay with this. Shaggy hits a leg drop, but the match isn't over because the ref is down. Tank Abbott starts punching everyone. Then Free Count appear behind him with baseball bats, and they turn on their friend and smack the shit out of him. The Great Muta wins with a moonsault. Okay, what a strange match. A lot going on there in a short time. To be honest, it wasn't much of a match, but it was interesting, so it's a D. Match 8, Nitro. Six-man tag. Shaggy, Two Dope and Violent J and Vampiro with the Great Muta versus Free Count. The Dark Carnival clear the ring, but they're too distracted and Free Count come back in with dives. Then all three of Free Count hit big dives to the outside of the ring. 
It's not going well for ICP as they try to get involved in the match, but they get clotheslined out of the ring again. Vampiro hits the nail in the coffin on Shannon. Violent J immediately hits the Simurn drop, and Violent J hits the leg drop. It's over. It went two minutes. Not much to say. It's a D because they won. Match 9, Nitro. WCW Tag Titles, the opener. It's worth pointing out that almost all of these matches have been the opening match of the show. Shaggy, 2-Dope and Violent J who are now on their own for the first time. They take on the champions of Juventud Guerrero, Rey Mysterio and they're with Conan, Tigris and Disco Inferno. ICP send the two small men into each other to start the match. Their success doesn't last long as Juve hits Shaggy with a springboard dropkick and Mysterio hits an Asai moonsault. Next up the Juice throws his own partner into the air and Rey hits a missile dropkick to send ICP out the ring. The champions then hit dives to the outside. Back in the ring, the Juice tries to end the match, but Shaggy catches him with a drop kick. Violent J then accidentally smacks his own partner, and the Juice hits him with the wheelbarrow into the Bulldog. Mysterio also hits a springboard leg drop. At least it went better this time. Mysterio hits a Bronco Buster, but he gets smacked down by Violent J. The Clowns now have a chance, but they're wasting too much time. Violent J hits a body press slam on Mysterio. Then he tries a second one, but Juve makes the save of a springboard drop kick. Rey Mysterio hits a top rope leg drop to the nutsack of Violent J to end the match. It was a fun match, but you can tell that WCW management don't care about ICP anymore, if they ever did. It's a C. Match 10, final match, Nitro. Now I've seen this match before, I can certainly tell you we've left the best till last, or the worst, whichever way you want to look at it. Handicap hardcore match, Shaggy 2 Dope and Violent J. Violent J has a mic and he starts calling out a load of JCW wrestlers that no one's ever heard of. Then he tells Mike Awesome to bring himself out and his retard boss. So here he is, that 70s guy, Mike Awesome. JCW run at the bus, but Awesome comes out the doors with a fire extinguisher. ICP fight back with weapon shots. Shaggy, who now actually does have shaggy hair, climbs onto the bus hood with Mike Awesome whilst Violent J sets up a table. It doesn't go well for Violent J as he gets punched off the bus and goes through the table. On top of the bus now, Shaggy and Mike Awesome are fighting. Awesome picks him up for the Awesome Bomb and BAM! Oh, 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 oh god, no. oh, Jesus, he's dead. Awesome tries to save Shaggy 2 Dope, but he's unable to stop him. What a way to end for Insane Clown Posse. It's either an A or an S, depending on which way you view it. I value entertainment in my wrestling the most, and seeing Violent J slip off the bus is one of the happiest moments of my week. So congratulations, it's oh, a rare yeah. ring of the Hawke for falling off of a bus. These clowns really put their body on the line every night for WCW. Okay, well that was actually a nice little run to be fair. WCW actually did something right and for the most part they were paired up with experienced in-ring workers. That was a smart decision. There wasn't many botches or bad matches to speak about so there's no need to hate on this run, even if you don't like these guys. Now a lot of people do seem to like these guys too. ICP seems to be a bit like Marmite. Do they have Marmite in the US? Who knows? Who cares? We need to give these guys a final grade and see if they're going to get a place on the Ring of the Hawk roster. I think a middle of the road C is completely fair. Now I know there's some of you out there who are going to take offence to Austin Aries getting a D and these guys getting a C. The problem with the Austin Aries run is it was just a bunch of moves leading to nothing. Wrestling is more than a bunch of moves, you need to be entertaining as well, and ICP nailed that aspect of it. There was enough here to enjoy, but it just can't be any higher than a C because they were heavily protected and the match is surrounded by people who knew what they were doing. And there were some botches, a few. When they weren't protected on their own, one of them fell off a bus and almost died. So I'll put them on the roster if you don't like it too bad. I'll beat you unconscious and your own family will be glad.